Shalom. Call hello, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles, double honors unto the elder bishops. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. To the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth that be like unto the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigners. And to the Akwaf that are listening and learning, to you I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago coming at you another lesson in truth. What you're looking at are the images of the Voronet Church in Romania. I did a lesson on this church about five years ago when I stumbled across this. As a matter of fact, it's the, it's a, a image of this very church that I have on the cover of my Bible. As you can clearly see that the angels and the saints of the church have afros and dark skin. All right. These were the images of in, in so-called Christianity prior to the Renaissance, before Esau, Edom, whitewashed history. All right. Which is the version of Christianity which you have today, which is which is uh, rooted in in racism and and what and what the world ignorantly refers to as white superiority. All right. It's 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 in, and is also hooked up into science. Because what they did was they took uh, ham, sham, and yapeth and made that uh, mongroid, cocazoid, and negroid. So when you hear people in the Christian church referring to these these strange names, labels that have been placed upon mankind, uh, they're a part of that. Because you have to ask yourself the question, why is it um, that only Jewish people uh, the only people who have a name that's connected to anything in the Bible. And all the other nations now are, you know, whatever they've decided to be. And I'm making this as a response to this unspoken uh, documentary. Because this is a big mistake that when they release this documentary, it's going to hurt them more than it's going to help them. Because what it's going to do is going to help speed up and seal the remaining of the elect. And it's going to also wake up the rest of the people that are meant to wake up to the truth, because everyone that wakes up to this is not is not a part of the elect. But that's why so many of our people are leaving uh, uh, the Christian church. Right. And the same thing with the Catholic church, because this is duality. The, the northern kingdom is waking up at the same time. Um, it's, it's, it's funny how here's an unspoken. And right beneath it is American Native American boarding schools. Why? That's not by accident, man. All right. So in this unspoken documentary, they're just trying to connect you to black and Negro, but not but not to the fact that in the Winston uh, Dictionary Bible, as a matter of fact, let me grab it. It's on the shelf behind me. Let me just grab it. Take just a second. I said Winston, I mean Zondervan's also in the uh, Smith's. The dictionary Bible, but I just happened to grab the Zondervan, so it will it will suffice. Um, so just keep in mind what you're looking at, Negro slaves, and then let's go to Ham because they teach you know that you are an African American, so that will make you a son of Ham. The Hamites are are, are what the world calls African, and by the way, when you look up Africa in the Bible or African, you're not going to find it. You're not going to find the nation of black. In the Bible, you're not going to find the nation of Africans in the Bible. You're not going to find the nation of white people, Caucasians in the Bible. Those are made up social constructs made up by white superiority Christianity, plantation Christianity. As a matter of fact, the so-called white man began calling himself that in 1681 in Virginia. Well, that's when he actually put it into writing. They more than likely were using the term prior to that, but it wasn't put into to their law until 1681 but nevertheless let's read let's see if we can bring this into focus this is the definition of ham all right in the zondervan's compact dictionary bible all right zondervan's recognized worldwide as scholars and i always tell you that the the uh this the seminary schools don't teach what the scholars put in, into the books but uh it says ham Perhaps hot, the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood and one of eight persons to live through the flood. He became the progenitor of the dark races, not 
the Negroes, but the Egyptians, the Ethiopians, the Libyans, and the Canaanites. So the four, four dark flesh sons of Ham uh, were Africans, but the Negroes were dark, but they were not Africans. This is fact. So go ahead and release your, your, your documentary. Okay? That This is what people are waking up to. Now let's go back to this uh, this church. Here we go. Now, I'm going to really break down what you're looking at. All right? Up here at the top are the images, some of the images that I actually have in my Bible. Because there is an overhang, like a, a bill on a baseball cap. So the sunlight doesn't hit up top. When the sun shines on the side of this building, it shines low, which all these down here have faded. That's why they're lighter down here. The sun does not hit up high. That would be these images. Okay? So where the sun does not hit, the images are still the way that they were when they were first put up. Remember, the sun is blaring on these images down here. This is put on the outside of this building. So over over almost a thousand, a thousand plus years, these have faded. All right. Now, what you don't see in large is that they depict the end of the uh, uh, of the world as, as we know it on here. All right. That's a matter of fact, that's what these images right here. Let's see if I can enlarge that again. Let's see. Oh, well, you can't. If you look right here. These angels with this dark skin, these afros, what do you see right here? You see white people, so-called white people, Caucasians, chained up together, naked, being destroyed, being tortured by dark angels right here. Okay, it's right there. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. Okay, remember, those are faded. Because this, this angel used to look like this angel. Because the one up, the ones up top are still dark. Okay. Those, these are the same images from the same church. I've had this on my Bible for about seven, eight years now. This image on this, you know. I've had this image. So what that is, is what you're looking at is a portrayal of Obadiah right here. All right. What you're looking at is Obadiah. Now let's get into some scriptures, man. As we let me, let me see if I can just keep the, the, the camera on that destruction of Esau Edom. And we're talking about the house of Basra being destroyed and the house of David being uh, uplifted. So let's go to, uh, because Christianity is nothing but teachers of lies, man. This is a uh, Deuteronomy. Four and twenty-seven. Right. Let me. Uh, I hate it when people come behind me moving stuff. And it reads, "And Yahweh shall scatter you among all nations, and ye shall be left few in number, and among the heathen, whether the Lord or whether Yahweh shall lead you." That's why we're called minorities. All right. We left few in number because we were gathered by these pink, pale fleshed, not white Edomites. And they put that that uh, that veil over all people. As a matter of fact, let's grab that. This is Isaiah um, 25. And seven. And it reads, and he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people. And the veil that is spread over all nations. So they spread a veil over all nations. Okay? And the only nation that they uh, uh that 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 they left with a biblical connection are the Jewish people, and, and it's all wrong because it's not the twelve tribes of Jewish, it's the twelve tribes of Israel. You can't call the other tribes Jewish. You can only refer to Judah, all right, as a Jew. You can't refer to Judah to uh Benjamin, Levi, Simeon. Naphtali, Ephraim, Issachar, you can't refer to them as Jewish, all right? They're Israelites of their, of their perspective tribe. As a matter of fact, 
when I was on my Bible diction uh, on my Bible app earlier, I saw an advertisement for Moody, uh, Moody Church here in Chicago, MoodyChurch.org, un, uh, uniting Jews and Christians in a service faith or interface service. All right, the Jews, the Jewish Judaism, is in complete opposition of Christianity. The two do not go together. They have contrary doctrines, completely contrary. All right. So I'm reading that and I'm like, how's that going to work when when the when the Talmud, you know, that the Jewish people, which is their number one book. So what are you going to do? Bring the Talmud into the church and read from it? Because the Talmud uh, basically mocks the Lord, says he's in hell burning. It's, it calls his mother a whore. Jewish people do not like Christians. If they click up outwardly, it's simply before the purposes of a white superiority. All right. Point blank, period. That's just a fact. All right. That's why they subscribe to, to because when those people went over into the land of Israel, no one challenged them except for uh, Abdul Gabal Nasser. And he ended up dead. All right. And when he made that statement, and that was the president of, of Egypt at the time, a man of color. All right. He was the president of Egypt. He said, you left here black and came back white. Who are you people? All right. He said, with this land, we could never accept you. Okay, let's now let's fade back out and put it back on the dark saints. I'm tired of looking at them pale people at the top here. Focus. These this is a part where the sunlight doesn't hit because of the overhang, like the bill on a baseball cap. The images are still dark. Okay, this church goes back to the tenth or eleventh century, if I'm not mistaken. It may even go back further than that. I haven't, you know, like I said, it's been quite a many years since I've looked into it all right and I, and I was uh, on tiktok and someone was talking about this that's what made me go back and find it all right but this is the voronet church and um and, and in the paintings is telling the story and it's talking of, and it's talking about king david the house of david and, and uh and then the destruction of esau edom which is the house of basra there's going to be a great sacrifice in basra okay um but let's continue in the scriptures uh let's go to psalms 49 and 11 because that's what these Edomites did. They they renamed everyone and then they named the lands after themselves. That's what that's what they did. That's what they do now. They never stay at home. That's why you got this war going on. They're always in somebody else's land. Right? This is uh Psalms 49 and 11. It says that inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations that call their lands after their own names. All right. Every place in the world, for the most part, uh, uh, Asians didn't call themselves, so-called Asians didn't call themselves Asians. All right. Africa is named after a white man. For all you, you African lovers out there, Africa is named after Scipio Africanus, a white man. America is named after a, a so-called white man, Amerigo Vespucci. So by referring to you as an African-American, they're calling you white twice. Those are two names named for the sake of an Edomite, of Edomite men. So how is that a race or a nationality? There is no African-American in the Bible. All nations and all people are listed in the Bible. In Genesis, the 10th chapter, there are 17 nations that the, that the, uh, that the Most High God, Yahweh, created. And they're all still here. It tells you in Ecclesiastes, there is no end of any people. I think that the Christians try to uh, uh, push that doctrine that the Edomites have done away with at the house of Basra. How is that so when Basra is the house of Edom and the prophecies are the destruction of Basra in the end of days? As you see on the image of this church, the faded part right here. See, it's hard to, well, you know what? You can, you, if you can see the arrow, that's what this is. It's faded. The sun beams directly on it. Wish it was up high, so it was left plain, even though it's still plain to see if you zoom in on it. Because you can see that these images have faded, all right? And then these pale pink people that are in chains and yokes of iron, that's why you never find any images of Edomites in yokes of iron because it hasn't happened yet. That's a future prophecy when their elites go into slavery for a thousand years and build up the kingdom of heaven for free. Now we're talking about Bezos and those type of people, the wealthy and riches of the nation of Edom are going into slavery. They're going to survive this upcoming, this, this now have begun third world's war they're going to survive it just so they could put in be put into those chains but let's go back into the scriptures let's go to deuteronomy you know what i'm gonna just use my phone so i can be faster um 
Nothing like holding that Bible, though, I tell you. Uh, this is Deuteronomy 28 and 37. And it reads, And thou shalt be...